Hi, welcome to the C Gadget Review. So finally, we have more information on the Xbox X, uh, the Xbox One Series X and the Xbox One Series S. So the Xbox One, Xbox One Series S uh, leaked last night uh, with a lot of information. It's not going to be as powerful as the Series X. Uh, the Series S is going to sell for $299, so it's $300 and it's going to uh, be missing a disk drive so it won't have a disk drive kind of like the uh, PlayStation 5 that doesn't have a disk uh, there are also rumors that the Xbox Series X is going to be $499 we don't have an exact um, um, release date the rumor is November 10th that's before Call of Duty comes out and uh, Cyberpunk 2077 comes out and uh, before Destiny's new expansion comes out as well. So it will be the perfect time in the week before all those games release to release the new Xbox. Now it was confirmed uh, by Xbox official tweet that the series is, is real and that it's going to cost $299. So that we have 100% confirmed. Obviously, the price for the Series X hasn't been confirmed, but the rumor is $499. Um, of course, if the rumor for the uh, Series S uh, $299 is confirmed, then most likely that's how much the Xbox Series X will cost, $499. So uh, the news was uh, leaked by Brad Sams. And if you remember uh, the video before, uh, which uh, you can see a link for it right here. Uh, Brad Sams is the one who um, was saying that there were issues at uh, uh, 343 Industries and that they had thought about uh, releasing the multiplayer portion of Halo Infinite as a separate game. And then there was this whole thing on um, Reddit, where where the person, the uh, the community manager for 343 Industries denied it, and this whole brouhaha. But now, it seems that you know this guy Brad Sams might be on the money because he is the one telling us this information how about the series is that turns out to be true. So I'm going to give you some more information on the difference between the series S and the series S. This is so far what's leaked. It's not 100% official, of course. So. Always remember the rumors of rumors and things might change. Now the thing that we're missing is when like when can we pre-order this? You know, when can I get it? When where can I put when can I put my money to get this? And and they're saying they're gonna have a an event soon to talk more about the consoles and obviously give us a uh, um, a, re, uh, a time and date to, to do the um, pre-orders and all these things hopefully it won't be like um, like what PlayStation is doing PlayStation is sending out invitations to, to hopefully, fingers crossed be able to get a PlayStation 5 now obviously chances are that um, most people won't get an invitation to pre-order which means there's going to be very few PlayStation 5s. And so here's where it comes, you know, if Microsoft has enough consoles to go around, will that make them the winner of the next-gen console generation? I guess I just said that. The next-gen consoles, console war, I guess is what I was looking for, going for. Because if they are, and you have the money in your pocket, right, and, and, and there's no PlayStation 5s to go around, will people make that switch to an Xbox Series X or Series S if they are available to buy the day off if you have the money in your pocket? Because, uh, yes, PlayStation is going to have a lot of exclusives that uh, the Xbox isn't going to have. But third-party games, they're all going to be there. Third-party games will be on the Xbox, just like on the PS5. And if the rumors are, are true, if the information that we have is, I mean, the information is true about this, the power, how powerful these consoles are, then it means that the Xbox One X is going to run third-party games better than the PlayStation 5 will, in theory. 
right? That's the theory based on the specs of these two consoles. So what do you think? You know, what, what is it that, well, I mean, I personally going to get an Xbox One Series X. That's where I'm going towards. Uh, PlayStation 5, they do have a lot of games, so I might buy a PlayStation 5 in this generation, but it's not my main console that I want to get. So I could wait until there are more PlayStation 5s available to buy it. Uh, but Series X, I want like that's the console I want to get in day one. Thank you very much for watching the channel. Go ahead and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, hit that bell so you can be alerted when we put more videos. I appreciate you are alerted.